I have an interesting bill uh, that I'm filing tomorrow. It's, um, it's drone legislation. And anytime someone asks me, well, tell me why you're filing this, I feel like I need about 20 minutes with them. Uh, but basically, unmanned aerial vehicles, which are commonly referred to as drones, are, are cheaper than they used to be. And when people think of drones, they think of Pakistan and Afghanistan and us sending drones uh, by our military and dropping bombs or taking pictures. But here in the US, you can go to a store and buy a $500 drone or, a, or a perhaps more expensive drone. And you can send it up over your house. You can send it over your neighbor's house. You can film. You can take pictures. You can do all kinds of things with this drone. And this legislation that uh, I'm going to file tomorrow on Friday basically says that you cannot capture images of someone's private property without their permission. And you also can't use those images. So um, an illustration. Let's say I uh, own a business and I want to see what my competitor's up to. I can't send a drone over his property to start filming him 24-7 to see what he's doing. Um, let's say there is a, someone who has criminal intentions, whether it's a thief or a pedophile, uh, that wants to send a drone over a neighborhood to kind of see where people are going, what time are people home, what time are they not. The drones uh, that are available, they're getting cheaper and cheaper. You can basically park a drone up in the sky and film 24-7. Uh, law enforcement can also use them to watch us 24-7. Is that something we as a society want? Uh, so this legislation will provide guidance. It'll provide um, uh, a penalty if you basically film or capture images of someone's private property. And then there's another one if you actually use those. So if, if you take pictures, it's one offense. If you put them on the internet, it's another one. And it gives someone a recourse um, if they feel like their privacy has been violated. It also gives guidance to law enforcement, requires a search warrant if they're going to just film over your property. We don't want law enforcement uh, doing indiscriminate surveillance at will. So there's several uh, provisions, exclusions, border security is one, responding to an emergency. Uh, but this is going to be filed on, on Friday. And I believe the Texas Tribune is going to do more of a, a story on it on Monday. So there'll be some some more information about it.